This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist with this week's Market Update. This week on the Street of Dreams, as expected, earnings season is off to a strong start, led by bank stocks who beat their estimates on both top and bottom lines. How many other companies beat estimates this week? How about all of them? 100% of companies reporting so far have exceeded expectations. What also beat expectations was inflation, with the CPI beating their estimate by 50% and the PPI beating their estimate by 100%. Now remember, the PPI, the Producer Price Index, is all about prices for raw goods and services at the producer level. And if producers pay more, guess who ultimately pays more? You and me, the consumer. But not to worry. Our Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said this week in his testimony to the Senate Banking Committee that although inflation has been higher than we expected and a little more persistent, we expect pressures to ease later this year. He also went on to say that he wouldn't hesitate to raise interest rates to keep inflation under control if he needed to. But again, he doesn't need to, since he says it's all about special factors, factors that are expected to fade. It was, as he tells us, a perfect storm of high demand and low supply, leaving investors once again in a quandary about inflation. Should we believe the Fed or should we believe our lying eyes? One market that appears to believe the government is the bond market. In the face of prices rising at an alarming rate, bonds actually rose in price this week as their yields decline. You can now lock your money up for 10 years in a U.S. Treasury bond at 1.3%. Hey, forget about rising inflation. With the current inflation rate, you're guaranteed a negative real return for 10 years. Wow, what a deal. Meanwhile, stocks continue to hover at recent record highs supported by record earnings, record productivity, unprecedented fiscal and monetary stimulus. Retail sales exceeded expectations in spite of the fact that most retailers lack the inventory to meet demand. Just ask anyone in the market right now for a new car, a new truck, or a van. Good luck finding one. The government also initiated a new stimulus this week with the Enhanced Earned Child Tax Credit. Payments went out to some 40 million families in amounts between $350 to $550 for the month. Another boost to spending, creating more demand, pushing prices higher, perhaps creating more transitory inflation. But at least for now, whether inflation is transitory doesn't matter as much as whether the Fed and Jerome Powell continue to say it is. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, is my portfolio evolving with the transitory nature of this economy? Well, why sit there and wonder when you could know? My son, Ryan, and I have 70 years of combined industry experience of building low cost, tax efficient, goal based portfolios. All you need to do to take advantage of our expertise is simply text or call 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. Or just simply call 844 PLAN NYC. That's 844 PLAN NYC.